terrible. This is like YouTube sacrilege. Oh my god. What's going on? Welcome back to Vix Rex. And if you, you know, if it's not welcome back and it's your first time, you know, welcome. It's about to be only positive vibes. Go ahead, pound it for the one time. But yeah, today we're back again. We're gonna do another little mod. Because of this weather, it's a perfect day for this mod that we're doing. The heat is perfect. You may need a heat gun for this. Um, I'm using a hair dryer and I'm using the addition of this uh, Maryland Sun. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So you may or may not know the side badges on the WRX originally come in as the um, they come in the chrome. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick, just to show you what it looks like. Um, this WRX isn't normally black. I bought an inlay, so there's actual grooves where the WRX is, and I just bought these inlay stickers that go in and make them black. Get a little bit of touch because I'm trying to, I'm going for like a blackish, dark theme here. I don't know. I'm trying to follow like the three the three color rule with the car. So right now I'm thinking gray, you know the stock color, the DGM gray. Um, the black and then maybe I don't know I don't want to give out the third color yet I'm still iffy on it but yeah eventually yeah we'll get there we'll get there yeah so this right here this is just held on I think there's a clip here and there's a little clip here but there's nothing you need to go you don't need to go up under the wheel well to get to it or anything like that most of it is just it's pretty much majorly held on by 3m um, adhesive tape so we're gonna go ahead and replace these with let me show you what I got Shout out to MS86 Inc. or MS86 Incorporated. And they have a company on eBay. They may have a website, I don't know. But these were 28, I think $28, $29. But yeah, these things here. So we went, I went ahead and ordered the black gloss side badges and replaced the chrome. And I think they're pretty nice. They're nice. Um, of course, there's a little, you know, fingerprints on them and some dust, but they clean up. Yeah, I think they'll be really nice. Really nice looking. I think they'll accent the car well. Just see how it looks. Even though it's the wrong side. But I mean, you put that right there. Bam. Dark. Darkening. Dark night out here. Let's go. Yeah. I've been wanting to do this for a while. But um, I thought it was going to be a bigger... Like, I thought I was going to have to go under the wheel well to remove the badges. But apparently you don't. It's just apply some heat and then the adhesive starts to loosen up. You go ahead and you just pull it off and you just put these on. They come with the 3M tape already on the back. You can see here already the little... This little piece right here will clip in. I think this one will, is there anything over here? Yeah, that little piece right there will clip in. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see this other one just to make sure. Yeah, they're good, not bad, $28. I'll put the link for where to buy these in the description below. Um, like I said, it's on eBay. They might have their company on Amazon. They may even have the website, but it's definitely MS86 Incorporated. Good looking out. Shout out to MS86, gang gang. So we're gonna go ahead and open the door so we can get up in here and start and pull this off as we heat it up. Go ahead and do this really quick. It's nice, see what I'm saying? Pull this door open. Now we got some space to pull over here. And if you look back here, um, you pull on this. And when you pull, you see this pole little fender piece moves with it. But once we start to add, once we start to apply the heat and once we, it begins to start loosening up, you can hold this in place like with your thumb and then pull like this. You may need two hands to do it because it sticks on there pretty well even with the heat. But um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that done. Got the handy dandy heater, hair dryer. Shout out to the wife. So yeah, let's go ahead and apply some heat. This thing is pretty hot as it is when it starts to heat up. Right, so full power. All right, so basically you're just gonna run the dryer or the heat gun or the hair dryer, whatever you use. And you're just gonna run it across. Make sure you get the edges, like point it down into the edges. Cause basically what we're trying to do is reduce the adhesiveness of the 3M tape behind the actual badge. So just gonna keep applying the heat around it slowly and keep going around. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do a time warp right now. So I really hit that spot on the edge because that's where you're gonna be pulling from. This might be a little hot, so you may need some gloves. Ooh, that is a little hot. Yeah, it's too hot, I need like, I left my sock. Yeah, see, I'm already prepared for this. Bam! Protective gear on deck. You can order these at um, Home Depot. Um, they're really protective. They get a job done. Put that right here. And then just start to pull off. And if you can look in there, can't really show you with the camera, but probably gonna need two hands. 
but just what you don't want to do you don't want to pull this off with this so like when this pulls this whole fender piece down here moves with it so again you have to keep this in secure this with a hand and pull this alone and don't pull all the way in the back because that's going to pull again this part here once you see you'll see what i'm talking about i may fast forward the video and show you what it looks like when it's off so i can explain it but yeah if you look here there's like a thin it separates so just make sure you're not pulling this with it because this continues behind it so next time you see this i'm just going to keep applying i'm basically going to keep applying heat until this adhesiveness starts to reduce and then i can slowly pull it off and i'll show you what i'm talking about afterwards so after about five more minutes of applying more heat to right here i was able to finally it actually ended up coming off the bottom more easily so hold this in place again and pull and you can see there's a separation here now see the separation that's exactly what you want and then slowly it should come off so i would do it with one hand but i can't because what I'm going to do is, as I pull slowly, I'm going to apply heat as I pull slowly. Alright, so as you can see, as I'm pulling off, just to show you guys, bam, tape is coming right off. So just keep pulling slowly. Be sure, be careful, because this could easily just scratch the paint around these edges. So just take it off very slowly. Patience is key. It should come right on off. Very slowly, ever so slowly. Oh, shit. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave that tape, you can keep these if you want. If you ever wanna put them back on, switch it up, bing bow, and switch it up. If you're having a hard time getting this leftover adhesive off, you can always just hit it with the heat as you're doing it and just pull it. You can just roll it off, it's not that hard. And then after we clean the surface off, we're gonna go ahead and throw this badge on. Pull off this and set it on there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off. But yeah, just make sure you clean that surface pretty well just to make sure that this actually sticks like it's supposed to. If you don't clean it, you might get dust particles trapped underneath it. And it might be rough for it to actually stick on. It might be uneven, it might fall off while you're driving. Who knows? So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. We're gonna check back in. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I just finished washing it and um, trying to clean that surface off. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit while it's out in the sun. If you're also on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram or at least check out the Instagram because that's where I put a lot of um, like the updates and posts. I'll post about what I'm getting ready to upload. I'll put like sneak peeks, trailers, and everything of the edits. For example, I got the new Stance. Well, I guess this won't be new when the video comes out, but Stance Wars 2017 was, I think it was last weekend from today, but it was in New Jersey. It was their first meet on the East Coast and it was, it was nice. I've been to a few different shows in Jersey. I've never been to the one in like the MetLife Stadium. I've been to English Town before for Honda Day, of course. A few other things. Um, I've been to Formula Drift. I can't remember where that was though. I don't know if it was in Jersey or not. I don't know, you can Google it. I basically did an edit for my own coverage of Stance Wars. So it was a pretty good amount of uh, nice cars there. Um, of course, everything was stanced out. So, you know, some had camera, some didn't. You know, to each their own. Some people's taste, some isn't their taste. And it was my first hand at editing, so check it out. With that said, the trailers for the edit are on my Instagram. V-I-X-R-E-X, -E Vix Rex. Go check it out on Instagram. Uh, it's lit. It's lit. So I think this is all dried off. Let's go ahead and put these new badges on. Damn, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting. So yeah, that's gonna look nice. Oh yes. Let's go ahead and move this. Move this. Bruh, having no nails is terrible. All right, bam, so that's peeled off. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure we line it up properly. So again, see I have these little clips that'll go in there obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. And that'll go in the hole, so. Oof. All right, I think that's it. All right, let me go make sure I press it. All right, I think that's it, okay. Sorry for the car being so dirty. Terrible. Terrible. This is like YouTube sacrilege. Oh my god. I think it looks nice. Ooh, yeah, I was tired of that chrome, bruh. That chrome was too much. I kind of want to get rid of the chrome on the uh, lug nuts, but you know, that's another day. I think that looks nice. Let me see from far away. Ooh. So imagine that. Wrap the headlights in black. Yeah, no, I think it looks nice. Probably press it down a little bit more just to make sure it's not gonna come off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and that is it. So again, if you got a Subaru, I suggest doing it. They have different colors too. You don't have to do black. They got the carbon fiber. 
This is all from MS86, MS86. Again, link in the description. They got the carbon fiber. I think they do all different kinds of colors, white, red, all different kinds. And of course you can get them on, you can get them other places too. If you find another place that's cheaper, let people know down in the comments. We always try to come up on that deal. Broke fam. I think it was a nice little mod to do. Right now I'm all about my cosmetics. I just realized y'all probably couldn't see my face. I was the wild shadow just like a couple seconds ago. My bad, the sun is shining today. Check it out, if you have a Subaru, you might, you might actually like it. Some people like the chrome, some people like the black, but again, you don't have to get the black. You can switch it up, you can get the gray, you can get the carbon fiber if you try and drop that penny. I think they look nice. I think they actually are going to look nice, especially, I just, I just can't do the chrome. And with the whole theme, the whole theme I'm going for, is this, this dark cut, these dark colors, you know, like I said, the DGM, then the black, and then the third color, which I don't know yet, but it's gonna be something that pops. It's gotta be, you gotta have something in there that pops out against all them dark colors. You gotta have something, you know what I'm saying? Let them know that you're coming through. But yeah, um, if you liked the video, drop the like, let me know that you liked it. I really do enjoy doing this. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Like I said last video, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to try to keep doing at least one video a week. Right now, I'm still in grad school, so it's a little tough with the schedule and everything, but try to keep that content coming. What's next? I don't know what's next. I'm going to wait and see, but the next video that's probably going to come out after this is going to be that Stan Swords edit, so be ready. Subscribe for more. Like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, it's cool. We still going to with you. Um, and I think that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.